morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you're doing well, and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. I am super excited because not only is this a 21 Pilots lesson, which I love making, this is going back to base, which is always a fun time. And we're going back to their first album, self-titled, and we're going to learn their song, Taxi Cab. Taxi Cab certainly has a really, really fun bass line when you learn how to play it. It, it is very, very fun to play, and I, I have had a blast learning it and so on the channel you can go find more of these 20 pilots lessons on either guitar bass or ukulele mainly guitar because that is my major instrument however i equally love bass and i equally love ukulele maybe to a lesser extent but guitar and bass are like that so i've done a plethora of 21 pilots lessons that you can go check out and learn your favorite 21 pilot songs of course if you don't see your favorite 21 pilot song in there all you need to do is go on any single one of those videos comment hey uh, could you please cover this song on this instrument and I will gladly add it to the list. This was actually suggested by someone named Knock Tiffany. Knock Tiffany. If I pronounced your name wrong, you can completely blame TTSreader.com. They the I plugged your name on the website because I had a hard time pronouncing it because I'm really tired as well. But anyway, Noctivity, thank you very much for the suggestion. I've had a blast learning it. And now it's time to learn Taxi Cab on bass. For this song, we are going to be in standard tuning. And we're going to start off when the bass comes in right after that first chorus, which is roughly a minute 20 in the song, give or take a second or two. So we're mainly going to be living between frets 9 and 12, and we're also going to go down to fret 7 for a hot moment, but we're mainly going to live between frets 9 and 12. So let's go ahead and start out by putting your finger on the ninth fret of the A string. You want to hit that twice. And then we go to the 12th fret of the A string and pull off to that 9th fret of the A string without hitting any other strings. Like that. <laughs> so we got so far as. Of course, you can strike both, however, the pull-off sounds better. After that, you go down to your 10th fret on your E string, hit that twice. So far, what we got. And then we move back up to that 12th fret of the A string. Twice. Then we go down to that 7th fret of the A string as promised. Then we go to the 9th fret of your D string. And either hammer on or pluck to the 11th fret of the A string. Then we did the D string. So after we go 12 on the A twice, 7 on the A, 9 on the D, hammer on or plucks to 11 on the D. So let's go ahead and do that whole sequence. I'm going to do it slow at first. Again, slow. And now more up the tempo. And that happens 
quite a bit during the actual song itself. Then it goes into the bridge, which takes us into the chorus. Now you can see I have zoomed out a lot, and that's because for the bridge and for the chorus, we're going to be using the rest of the fretboard, which is great. We get to move around more. So let's go ahead and we'll go on our low E string. A lot of this is based off of your low E string. So we're going to go to your seventh fret of your low E. Go to your fifth fret of your low E. And then we're going to hammer on back to the seventh fret. So we got. Then you're going to hit your 7th fret again. Then your low E string open. The next note you could do in two different places. You can either go on your 12th fret of your E string. Or you can go to your 7th fret of your A string. Either way, it's the same note. Personally, I like it up at the 7th fret just because we've been living here and it keeps our hand just in one position, much like how we were up there. So once again, seven, five, hammer on the seven, seven again, open E. Uh, seven fret of your A string or 12th fret of your low E string, either or. <laughs> And then we do another version of that where we do change up one note. So we start up the same, so seven on your low E, fifth on your low E, hammer on your seventh on your low E, seven again. This time we go down to your second fret of your low E string. And then once again, either your open E, then either your 12th fret of your low E or 7th fret of your A string. So that really slowly, 7, 5, hammer on the 7, 7, 2, open. One of these two. One of these two. And of course, I do want to say right now, you're going to get better if you practice with the recording to this song. I had a lot of stuff to do this week for college. I still got a lot of stuff to do. I am super tired. I'm going to make coffee after this, even though it's 10 o'clock at night. But definitely go practice with the original recording to get this timing down. That will help you in the long run, and it will definitely, definitely help you with your rhythms all together. So those two versions of that part. Then we do one more version of that, which leads us into the actual chorus part. So we start off the same like we were the other time. Seventh fret of your low E string. Fifth fret of your low E. Hammer on to seven. Seven again. Then we go to your open E string. And then we just... We belled on that before the chorus comes in, so... Then we go into the soft, soft chorus, to which we get these notes on our bass. So we're gonna go to the low E string fifth fret. Then we're gonna go to our A string fourth fret. Then we're going to the second fret on our low E. Back to our fifth fret. Go up to the A string fourth fret. Back to the low E string second fret. So that whole thing. And then that is going to end with the 10th fret on our E string, your open D string, or your 5th fret of your A string, because once again, 
are all the same notes. So I tend to either use the open D or the fifth fret of the A string, just because we're in that area already. So. We're going home. Works perfectly. And then we get into the rest of the song, which is more of the same. It's the, the rap portion of the song. So let's get right into it. The bass line underneath the rap part goes like this. We're going to go on your low E string, fifth fret. Hit it twice. Then we're going to go to your A string, fourth fret. Hit that twice. Then we go down to your second fret of your E string. So we got. Now open E. Second fret of the E. Second fret of the E again. Fourth fret of the E. And repeat the pattern. So that slow. Now more up the tempo. Yes, yeah, so you can even go up to your ninth fret of your low E string if you really wanted to instead of going to the fourth fret. But like I said, that's a personal preference. If you want to keep everything on one string, you can definitely do that. But like I said, I like keeping my hands in like one position the whole time. So fourth fret works the best for me. All personal preference. So you're going to do that pattern for quite some time. And then we're going to go back into this pattern, which might sound familiar. You're just gonna repeat that last bass line until the song ends. And there you guys have it. That is all of Taxi Cab on bass. As I mentioned before, go ahead and listen to the studio recording. Practice along with that. Get your timing a lot better. I need coffee. I'm super tired. But anyway, guys, that super fun to learn, super fun to play, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below, as well as what 21 Pilot songs I should cover next. Of course, I'm open to every suggestion, and I will tell you right now, next week we're going to be looking at how to play the song screen on guitar so that is your little sneak preview of course standard youtube things like comment subscribe bell notification whatever single person tells you to do of course no obligations however it would be much appreciated but anyway, guys really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next monday where we will learn how to play screen on guitar goodbye and good night I need a new chair. <laughs>